on fire. Oh my God. It's hard to believe that it happened a year ago tomorrow. It was October 19th of 2021. I came home that morning from work and I was exhausted. I'd been trying to help keep a patient alive until his family got there to see him. I sat down to read the Come Follow Me lesson and study my scriptures and I could not stay awake. I read the same sentence over and over two or three times, and that was, you are not yet as Job. I learned very quickly that day that I am not yet as Job. I have not lost my friends and my family. I have not lost everything, my children, and I still have my husband. So I went to bed after I read that, and I was woke up. By something hitting me really hard in the head and it turns out that what happened was my ceiling had landed and hit me in the head hard enough to wake me up and not hard enough to knock me out our house had a propane leak and the house exploded and dropped the ceiling on top of me as I was sleeping when I opened my eyes, where there should have been complete darkness, was an opening in the wall, and all I could see was pine trees and blue sky. And as I laid there, I felt impressed that I needed to get out now. So I got up and I pushed the roof off of me, and I walked out through the opening. The only injuries that I had was to my face and a bruise to my side. Um, when I got out of the opening, I felt fearful all of a sudden that my husband was still in the house. So I turned around to go back into that opening. And as I turned around, my husband walked around the corner of the house, which was the only corner left standing. He hugged me and my fear was gone. And then instantly I became fearful for my grandkids because they usually came over to help my husband with the chickens in the morning. And as soon as I started being afraid that they were hurt, my daughter-in-law comes running, screaming our names. And I knew instantly that my grandkids were okay. Heavenly Father will bring us through trials in this life. And he will give us things that may seem very hard. We lost everything that day. I walked out with my pajamas. I didn't have my glasses. I didn't have my shoes. The only thing I had was the pajamas I had on. And my husband had the clothes on his back. As soon as I knew the grandkids were safe, my husband asks about my dog, my little Daisy here. And he said she was inside with me and I said I didn't know where she was. He started to go into that opening that I walked out of and called her name. As soon as he called her name she flew out of the house and ran through the woods and we told the neighbors as he ran to go after her that she had went to the woods so people went out looking for her. She ran a mile and came out of the woods and ran into the dirt road and hopped in somebody's jeep and they brought her back to us. So thankfully nobody was hurt, none of the dogs were hurt. We had chickens at the time and none of the chickens were harmed either. And rabbits, they were all safe too. Everyone was blessed and very protected. Heavenly Father tells us that he will put angels round about us to protect us. And I know that's true because I was definitely protected. And I'm so grateful to my Heavenly Father and to Jesus Christ who gave me hope 
and the strength that I need to get me through this trial that we went through. I know that there are a lot of people who are going through so many hard things. And I know that if you trust in Jesus Christ and trust in our Heavenly Father, that they will help you too. I'm so grateful for all of our community, our neighbors. They all helped pull together and they helped us, us with clothes. And they got a phone and gave us the money that we needed to get us through until we could get the insurance money. And I'm so grateful for our church. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And they came and they helped us with meals um, because we had no way to prepare meals and they helped us through that time. I'm so grateful for every single person that helped us. I'm grateful for the Bear Lake Community Church. They also helped us. I'm so grateful for all of the firefighters who came, who helped put out that fire and kept the woods from burning down. I'm so thankful that the woods are still there. And I'm thankful that all of my co-workers at the hospital who were there to support me when I came in through the ambulance to get my head checked out. I had no bruise, I had no broken bones. The only thing I had was an abrasion to my face. And I know that I was protected. I should have died in that fire. As soon as my dog ran out of that house, I stood there and watched as the fire that was engulfing the rest of the house came and engulfed where I just was laying. And the rest of the house just went up in flames. He has blessed us. And I am so thankful. And I know that as you struggle, he will bless you and help you.